right, next up we have the Lich, part of the Dark School of Magic. You have Overwhelming Power, which gives you an AoE damage over time and gives you impact resistance. Two, Crippling Rake sends out dark energy in front of you. Everyone it hits, debuffs them, making them take more damage from your spells. Phylactery, which basically you throw it down, you become immune to damage, but people can, monsters can attack it to deal damage to you instead. Arcane Siphon, your ultimate, does a circle around you, silencing all nearby enemies. And for every enemy you silence, you gain a stack of bonus damage buff. And your right click death touch is a charge ability. The longer you charge it, the more damage it does, and you teleport to them. So, we will show that off right now. So first, two. Let's weaken them. And then I'll pop my damage over time. Boom. It's pretty nice. Throw down my phylactery. So as you can see, I am now immune to all damage. Well, my person is. If they start attacking my phylactery, I'm screwed. You know, if the dogs actually let me freaking move, that would be awesome. How is this still out of range? I don't even know what to say about that. I have no idea why those dogs were super dogs this time around and did perfect knockdowns constantly. Okay, we're going to go to the next area and charge up our ultimate and show off the right click. All right, we're going to teleport to this guy and hit him. So it did 520. It does up to 2500, I believe. Mobs appear to the left. Alright, so that silenced them, gave me two stacks of the buff. That doesn't go very far. Noted. Alright, next up is a lot of people's probably favorite type of class, the Necromancer. This class is pretty fun. Uh, your number one's command minion. You tell your minions where to go, who to attack, T kind of like the Taskmaster, Veil Demon type of thing, you know. Yeah, uh, the passive, whenever you are, get the killing blow on an enemy minion, it turns into one of your minions uh, as a skeleton. Two, sacrifice minion. Sacrifice target minion, you gain health and triggers minion's sacrifice effect, which makes them blow up. Three, haunting wraith. You summon wraith that rush forward in a frenzy, damaging enemies and protecting allies. Gives your allies a shield while damaging uh, the enemies. It's pretty nice. Four, your ultimate, raise dead. Basically, you raise your own skeletons a ton of them, and it's really cool. And your right click, your signature is Frenzied Shambler, which basically will summon a suicidal skeleton that will run in and explode for a high amount of damage. Right here. Boom. It's really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> Next, we'll do that. And all right, so sec, we don't have any minions, so let me go ahead and all right, so I targeted my minions to attack that guy. So now we're going to sacrifice one of them. Boom. That also does heavy damage, just like your right click. It's quite nice. All right, we just got our ultimate, and there's an elite coming, so perfect. Here we go. Look at all the skeletons. Go attack the elite, my pretties. Oh, and by the way, your three, when you shoot that out, it shields your skeletons as well. Skeletons are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. So if you like Necromancer and having your own minions, it's definitely a worthwhile class, to be honest. All right, and the last class under the Dark Book of Magic is... Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? 
No, no. All right. It's the Reaper. All right. We have five minutes before the alpha is over. So we got to we got to get this going real quick. Number one is reap. You consume all so debuffs in the area to restore health and damage enemies Two grasp of death. The dead claw from the ground dealing damage and applying root to enemies in the target area. Three, Death Beckon. Send out souls in an area around you that will slow and damage enemies. Four, your Grim Reaper form. Basically, turns you into a Grim Reaper. You float around. Everything's increased. Well, yeah, with a lot of haste. I think it's like 50%. It's a lot. And your right click. So, strike all enemies in front of you, dealing damage and reducing bonus damage. So, basically, you want to hit them with your right click and then hit them with one. That's the plan, anyway, that you're supposed to do. So you do that, and then that, and it heals you. It's not too shabby. Oh, I think he interrupted me. No, he didn't. There's all my little hands. There we go. I thought he might have actually got the interrupt off, but he didn't. Boom. 450 heals. So this class has some pretty good heals. Uh, what was your three? Sends out the souls. So there you go. It That was that big green effect. All right, now we're gonna charge our ult really fast so I can show you what that looks like. All right, Reaper form. We look how cool that looks. Uh, I wonder if it's going to look different depending on if we have different cosmetics on. If so, that would be amazing. All right, that was my ultimate. It's pretty cool running around looking like a Grim Reaper. And it'll be really cool if they have different cosmetics for that. But the alpha is going to end in two minutes. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Uh, I try to get this done as fast as possible today. Um, I've been grinding the gold to purchase all of the classes. Um, unlike some other people, my store did not break. So I didn't have unlimited gold. So I've actually been grinding this entire weekend just to get the gold. I've been selling all of my items, all of my gems, everything. Oh, Chronomancer was a lot of gold, let me tell you. <clears throat> but hopefully you enjoyed these videos. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will get back to you. And see you in Breach in the next alpha and or early access. See ya. <laughs>